A bass drum pedal. We all as drummers haven't used one, and I'm sure at one point in our drumming careers have put it through a bass drum head a time or two. But do we all know how to take apart one and fix it and clean it if need be? As you can see here, this one's overdue for a proper tune-up, and in this video I will show you how I disassemble a pedal, clean it up, and make it player ready in the end. Tools for the job include a drum key, hex keys, pliers, flat and phillips head, a socket wrench that fits your pedal, along with lubricant, white lithium grease, and bicycle chain degreaser. Placing all the small parts into a container, I start with taking the beater out of the hub along with the screw, then the spring tensioner screw that is on the bottom of the return spring system. Next with the drum key, taking the rocker off the stroke adjustment, and with the hex key, taking the set screw out of the adjuster. This stroke adjuster has never been off here before, it seems. Onto the other side of the pedal, I use the thin wall 10 millimeter socket to get past the bearing spacers to loosen up the locking nylon nut that is on the hex shaft. God, just try saying that one time normal, let alone three times fast. Moving on to removing the set screws with a hex key that hold in the spacers for the bearings. Removing the little hex screw that holds on the sprocket and I was a little hesitant at first because it wasn't giving But once I got it to break free, I seen that there was some buildup of crud on there Thus the clean And here the screw that holds in the hub uh, Was giving me a bit of trouble and it seemed to be a bit wallered out and my hex key would not quite fit so I found a bit in my box that was close to it and made it work And after a little bit of pounding action, we were able to get the shaft to slip right out of the hole. But if you don't have that problem here, then you should be able to pull everything out fairly easily. I used a little punch, but you could also use a flathead in this situation if you're having any problems getting the adjuster off. And if you're fortunate enough to have a pedal that fits a skateboard bearing, I suggest swapping them out because it feels 10 times better. In this case, I cannot, so. Now that the hard part is over, we can get to cleaning. I start by taking a towel of my choice and getting off any of the initial dirt and debris. Next, with the toothbrush, I get down into the small cracks and crevices where stick dust and dirt occur. Definitely make sure to get both sides of the chain up and down since this is where a lot of the factory grease likes to hold on to the dirt. Not forgetting about the heel plate in the process. Now most of you can disregard this next step, but me personally, I like to grip tape my pedal boards. So this is just me taking a razor blade and carefully removing the old grip tape that has more than served its purpose and getting it ready for some fresh. Also, I never use a drum key down in this holder, so it's gotta go. This is where the Phillips head comes in handy. And as a hoarder of all things drums, I will not throw this piece away, but toss it into the bin of recyclables. And now on to spraying everything with degreaser. I get the bearings, the spacers, uh, basically any moving parts that need to be re-lubricated. I spray the degreaser on to clean off the initial gunk and grime and wear and tear off of them. As you can see by the paper towels, they're quite disgusting. Next, I spray everything with a basic lubricant. Um, sewing machine oil or WD-40 would work great here. And this helps uh, lubricate everything as well as wash any of the leftover degreaser out. And you can see more stuff coming out of them too. So just an overall good cleaning step. With the white lithium grease, I spray it on and give it a moment to react and do its thing before rubbing it in and flipping the bearing over to repeat the process. Now 
Now that everything's cleaned up, we can start putting it back together. I start by making a quick visual inspection of the hex shaft and making sure that there are no strip threads or any bends in it at all. I then spread some all-purpose grease on the shaft where the bearings are going to sit to ensure for a smoother playability. Making sure I put it back together the way I took it apart with the bearing in first before the spacer. Reversing the same steps as earlier, taking these four hex screws and putting them back in to hold the shaft into place securely. Also the screws that hold in the beater hub as well as the beater itself. Placing the rocker back onto the stroke adjuster before putting it back onto the hex shaft. Placing the threaded part of the spring down through the hole, we can then put on the tension nut. How loose or how tight you may want this feature is totally up to you and your playing styles. Then placing the spring back over the rocker on the stroke adjuster, you can set the angle of your beater and steepness of your footboard to your desired specs. And with that, most would be done here with a basic pedal cleaning or rebuild, but I'm gonna take it one step further and show you the process of gripping the pedal board. After running to a local skate shop, I take the grip tape and I cut off only the piece that I need for this pedal. As a whole roll of grip tape, depending on how much you play and do this, will last a very long time. Start by peeling the back paper off to reveal the adhesive and start at where the heel plate meets the footboard at the bottom of the pedal. Slowly working my way up and pressing it down to ensure that there are no air bubbles or creases in the grip tape. As you would a skateboard with a screwdriver, I next take and rub down a line and score the outside profile of the pedal shape to ensure for a cleaner cut. Next, with a fresh razor blade, I carefully go along at an angle up that line on the side of the pedal, making a clean cut. Repeating the process on the other side along the same line. Ooh, so smooth. Follow up by taking some of the cut off and rubbing it down the edge to make sure that it doesn't start to peel back off. And after this final step, I am finished. If you have watched and are still with me until now, I would like to thank you. I hope that you found this information useful and that it helps you in future projects. If there was something that I missed or do differently, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time, drums, drums, drums.